Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing amazing. So I was able to get away and come spend some time with you guys. I'm learning so much that is so un unreal. Hey Brenda, hey Chiquita, hey Pastor Shaletta, hey Deb Hare, hey Miss Brown, hey Elaine Forbes, hey TF Donaldson, hey Celestine, Miss Graham, hey Marcus Cormier, hey Tiffany, hey Curly Hair Chick, hey Miss Millions, good morning Miss Graham. Listen, I have so much to tell you guys that it's crazy unreal. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tasha. First and foremost, hey, Stir to Give. Who is coming with us to Indianapolis May 19th through the 21st? I just want to know. I just want to know. And this shirt, hey, Jonathan. Hey, Melvina. This shirt was done by Kimberly and Keith Solomon. Who's coming to Indianapolis with me? Let me tell you, there's nothing. We're going to get shirts for Indy. Sis, you signed up today, Tina? Yay. Hey, Khadija. Hey, Leah. Hey, Last Clock Out. Hey, Chrisanne. There's nothing like seeing people in person. Hey, Atika. Good morning, Thea. There's nothing like seeing people in person. There's nothing like meeting peace people. Um, you, you've got to be there. Good morning, Sean. Yes, guys can sign up too. Absolutely. Hey, April. Uh, if you're an employee, uh, hey, Robin. Oh, I got to schedule some time with you this morning. Hey, Kim. Hey, Dana. If you are an employee and it's your goal to leave your job this year, say me. If you are an employee and your goal, hey, LaShondia. Hey, Sturdy Gift. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Tamisha. Hey, Dana. You need to be in Indy. You need to step away from your job. Hey, Independent Mom. Hey, Cherie. Hey, Verlin. You need to step. And if you already left and you don't want to go back, uh, you really need to be there. But you need to be in Indy. Good morning, Ren 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 uh, Renelli. You need to be in Indy. Oh, I'm here, baby. And you really need to take some time away and think about what it is that you're doing. But this morning we're gonna talk about being confused about money. So if you haven't thought about Indianapolis, you need to. May 19th to the 21st, people say, why Indy? It's the middle of the road, show up. Hey, Michelle, do this for yourself, show up for yourself. So number one, if you're confused about money, hey, Eugene, Understand that you're not the only one. Like your understanding about money is a process. And so if you're confused about money, whether it's making money, hey Cheryl, why you're not making money? What do you need to do to make money? Uh, hey Alta V's, hey Lottie Dottie, Indianapolis, Miss Graham. Hey Derek, May 19th through the 21st. Then you really need to say to yourself, okay, I'm not the only one but what am I going to do about it? Hey, good morning, Shirley. Hey, oh, that's very good, Marcus. That's very good. And one thing I can tell you is once you've had an impression about money on your psyche, it takes work. Hey, Michelle, to change that impression. And so if you're not doing the work on your mindset about money, Oh, thank you. Then it's difficult for the work to be done. Hey, Tamira. Hey, Kiara. Kiara. Oh, we've been over here laughing at you this morning. So the work doesn't just do itself. You have to be uh, proactive about doing the work. So that's number one. Um, it is just knowing that you're not alone. Hey, Frida. Hey, Orlean. That's number one. Hey, Ishamine. Number two is realizing that you have value. If I asked you who has value, each of you need to say, I have. Somebody asked you who has value. Somebody say me or say I have. Who has value? You do. What the problem is, good morning, Miss Dawn, is that you have not done the work to understand that your value translates 
into money. So it's almost like you're speaking French and everybody else is speaking English because you've not done the work. And, and to be honest with you, everybody has, hey, healthy nuggets. Everybody, hey, Miss Yoshi, hey, April. Everybody has tons of value. I venture to guess millions of dollars in value, but you've not done the work to understand how your personal value translates into money. So that's why making money is so hard for you. Hey, Valerie, that's number two. Number three is that you don't understand that you don't need anything official to make you official for you to make money. You don't need any certificates. It's not about your degrees. Now, if you're a doctor, don't come at me trying to cut on me and you ain't got no diploma. Don't do that. Because I'm going to say, no, keep your knife in your pocket. Hey, Trinity Savings. Hey, CC. I'm going to repeat that for the cheap seats. If you ain't got no degree, hey, Angela, welcome, welcome. And don't try to be my lawyer. Because there's a whole lot of books for you not to have no law degree. See, that's why they make sure uh, in, 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 in the legal field, right, Carla, that they do you like track that you have to pass the ball, right? So so don't come over here offering me no legal counsel. Hey, Tilda. Tilda, are you coming to Indianapolis? You need to. Hey, Latanya. Don't be offering me no legal counsels if you ain't got no degree. But outside of that, outside of a degree, there are certain things that you have learned in your life that qualify you Look at your neighbor and say, I'm qualified. If you don't know how to spell it, it's Q-U-A-L-I-F-I-E-D. Good morning, Veronica. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm qualified to do what God has put me here to do. See, this is when it gets deep because you're waiting on an okay from an outside authority when actuality, the ultimate authority has already spoken over your life and said that you're qualified. So what else you waiting for, I'm not sure. Because you're already qualified to do what he put you here to do. Now, I will tell you this. You're exactly, your own experiences qualify you. I will tell you this. Some of y'all are running around trying to do some stuff that you're not qualified for. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, she about to, she about to make some enemies. Some of you are running around trying to do some stuff that you're not qualified for because somebody told you that you should be doing this or that you should be doing that. I, 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 I got to tell them, I got to tell them. And so you listening to what other people have told you and God have set the experiences at your feet and literally made you trip over trip over what he wants you to be qualified in. See, the problem is, good morning, Angela. I can't wait to get that catering menu. The problem is that instead of you saying, why has God put me in this situation and what can I do from it? You say, why has God put me in this situation? And you just keep complaining. Somebody didn't hear that. Somebody didn't hear that. See, instead of you saying to yourself, why did God put me in this situation? Hmm. And what does he want me to do with this desert? You're just saying, why did God put me here? And why you screaming, why, oh, why are you missing money? And why you saying, why, oh, Lord, you missing money? And you say, while you over there saying, and I'm so tired of hearing this, saints, don't get mad at me this morning, saints. Good morning, Alto V's, again. Don't get mad at me this this, 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 this morning, saints. But while you over there saying, Lord, what would you have me to do, Lord? He's already told you. He's already told you. There's a joke. What do you tell a person with two black eyes? And the answer is nothing. 
You've told them twice. Hey, Monica, good morning. And, and the thing about it is, is every time you don't listen, you get a black eye. How many more black eyes at jobs are you going to get? How many more black eyes in your bank account are you going to get? How many more black eyes in relationships are you going to get? And I'm not even talking about domestic violence and the physical black eyes. I'm talking about doing the same thing over and over. Good morning, Rolanda. And expecting different re results. And Twyla, you're absolutely right. Uh, you said you should know God's voice. But check this out. Come here, precious. But check this out. Some of y'all is over there tricking yourself. Good morning, Cheryl. And you saying... Oh, God is speaking to me, but really that's your other mind speaking to you, and you putting it under the auspice of God. Hold on now. You better stop You better stop telling stories out of Sunday school. This Precious Baby, y'all. What up, what up, what up? Good morning. This is Precious Baby. We over here at the Epic Conference, killing it, killing it, killing it. Yes. But uh, what was we saying this morning? What we say? Listen. What you told me to tweet? Listen. Danielle said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We uh, So I spoke yesterday at Epicon uh, for Mastery Day, and I was talking about live streaming and how all of y'all need to quit watching me on TV right. and go live and make your own money, right? And we know that's true. If you know that's true, say me. Me. Because Alta Vis, I know you a VIP. Kiara, I know you a VIP. April, I know you a VIP. You saw the videos of me killing it. What, what? Yes. April, Stem and Beverly in the house, baby. That's that million dollar copywriter. You better look up. Yes. So... Uh, if you know you need to be on live stream, say me. And it's more than a little something of y'all that went ahead and admitted. But you know what it is. I ain't even going to go there. But you going live today, Pastor Little. Okay, each mean you going live. Okay. But don't forget, don't get on there and over teach. Y'all need to get some strategy so you can understand how to make some money while you're on there. So one of the things they said they observed was that during my entire presentation, I was making offers. Right? Anybody in the speaking world, you understand that. And during my entire presentation. Good morning, Crystal. And so when me and, when me and Precious was talking about it this morning, I was telling them that it's not a pitch. What? See, you're walking through the world and everybody is pitching stuff at you. But with me, it's not a pitch. It's a plea. Boom. I'm on here this morning begging you to fix your money. Why I got to beg you to fix your revenue? Wait a minute, Danielle. Did they hear you? I don't think they heard. Did they hear you? I said it's not a pitch. It's a what? It's a plea. What's the difference? A pitch is you may not need it. A plea is I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Fix your money. What? Go live the right way. Zach said I go live almost every day. Need your help monetizing. Right, Kiara? Tell them, Kiara, why I got to beg you to fix your money? Why do I have to beg you to monetize everything? So last night, Danielle was, after she got off the stage, after she was absolutely amazing, and when I say amazing, I mean intentionally amazing because she brought the meat. I heard her, I overheard her in a conversation with some ladies and her bottom line was this, you cannot make the impact that you wanna make. You cannot do the things that you said you wanted to do. You cannot write the checks that you said you wanted to write. It's impossible if you do not go with the money. <laughs> You got it. You listen to me. You listen to me. How many of you want to make an impact in the world? Say me. I mean, how many of you want to change lives? You want to speak to people internationally. You want you want a brand that's internationally recognized. You want a best-selling book. You want you want to be well sought after in the speaking circles. You want to be that coveted coach that everybody. You can't do this sitting on your couch doing nothing. Exactly. Is that a word, April? Yeah, there you go, Eunice. A pitch benefits the pitcher. A plea benefits the people. <laughs> Don't I come here every day, and every day I do what? Number one, I add value. Number two, I give you alternatives. Number three, I educate you, and I help you shift your mindset. Tell them trendy savings, not every other day. They go my powerhouse in the building. Not every other day do I come here. I come here every day, but you got to move to make impact. Nobody makes impact standing still. Woo. Only mountains do that. Are you a mountain? Probably not. So you got to move. 
Yes. It's precious. Precious said she might kick it with us, y'all. Listen. In Indianapolis. Come on now. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm with anything that is going to require us to go higher. And I think Daniela's always done it. I mean, just for the short time that I've watched her and, and then hearing the history from April, it's amazing. Thank you for being. Thank you for saying yes. Oh, no. Thank you for saying yes, sis. Precious is the MC. She's doing an amazing job. You know what? Sometimes you got to leave your house. Girl, and it would have looked at home over here because we got about six phones. Okay. Yeah, that was yours. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta leave your house to go higher. Right, Tangie? Right, Shanetta? Now, I'm not gonna be an indie today. I'm gonna be an indie May 19th through the 21st. Sometimes you got to leave your comfort zone to go, oh, Brandon Angel, I killed it. Sometimes, hey Zahari, you've got to get away from your current situation to go higher. Does anybody agree with that? Sometimes, oh girl, what you doing in Houston? Yes, girl, you know, May 19th through the 21st. Sometimes, you know what has moved me most about this conference? There are women here that said they moved hook. Tickets are still available, Bunny. Oh, okay, it's the boot camp, okay. There are people who said they moved hook and crook to get here. And they will be rewarded. Andrea said she got her plane tickets to Indy. And let me tell you why they're gonna be rewarded. They're going to re be rewarded because of their faith. They're going to be rewarded because of their tenacity. They're going to be rewarded because of their, 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 their energy. Yeah, I'm going to have to meet you offline, uh, Auto Vs, because I'm not going to be at the event. So, I encourage you guys. The link is bit.ly slash 300 women indie. If you need a break to get away to figure out your plan for freedom, it's called the race, the race to freedom. No, uh, Alto V says she's gonna be at Roberto's event. I'm in Dallas right now. If you need a break, good morning, Tiffany. To step away and really realize what your future holds for you. You got to meet us there. But let me tell you. Okay, Amber, we're going to be on the lookout. Are you coming, Amber? Hey, LaDavia, LaDavia, are you going to meet us in Indy? So let's talk about this. So we already said, number one, we need to understand you have value. Number two, you need to understand you are official even without a piece of paper. Hey, AW uh, Financial. Number three, you need to realize you are good enough just as you are. Do you know what my excuses used to be? Hey, Rochelle. Hey, Wendy Harvey Robinson. I used to have excuses like, I'm gonna start when I lose weight. Any of y'all ever use that excuse? Thank you, Benita. Sorry for your loss, baby. Praying for you and your family. Anybody ever Use that excuse. I'm going to get started when I lose weight. That used to be an excuse I had. I, I used to say stuff like, I'm going to get started. I'm just busy with this job right now. Hey, Tisha. Um, I used to say stuff like, uh, when the kids get older. Anybody use that excuse? Kids in the way? Um, um, oh, what about this one? I can't get off work. See, some of y'all gonna try to use that excuse for Indy. Oh, well, I can't get off work. Let me tell you what you need to do. Good morning, Michelle. You need to go into work today and put in your time off. 
Today. Good morning. Today. Because what's gonna happen when them kids leave and you done dedicated your entire life, life to these children? Yeah, Mickey, I used to say that. Mocha, schedule some time to speak with us so we can help you figure it out. Listen, you gotta start living this life. This life ain't promised. Ain't none of this stuff promised. It's not. And while you sitting back, waiting on everything to be perfect. Hey, Francis from Jamaica. I'm thinking my passport, well, we can get over there. Okay. While you sitting up waiting on everything to be perfect, perfect, guess what? Life is steady passing you by. Stop saying you can't afford because you can. You've got to understand money. And if you don't have money, it's because you're not asking anybody for any. Who can? I want y'all to do me a favor. I want you to type in at least one thing right now that you can do to make some money. Because see, some of y'all will say, I can't afford to go to Indianapolis. But I want you to type in one thing right now. There you go, Slim, babysit. One thing you can do right now. We've kept the tickets low. Tang, you can do some consulting. That's right, tutor. Working home jobs, clean houses. Come on. What can you start to do right now? You've got two months before we get to Indianapolis. Sell some bags. Come on, you've got two months. Sell something, Melvina. Sell from your closet, tutor. You know what? There's a lady here who did a GoFundMe. Watch this, y'all. There's a lady here who did a GoFundMe. And she got here simply on the strength of her GoFundMe. She bought her plane ticket. Mickey, there's so many businesses that need other businesses. So then my question is, who's going to do it? Dee Marie says, sell some folks, do your food delivery, Uber and credit repair. So we all know you can make money. Will you? I know that's right, Flo. Make something. So with that being said, build something, bake something. Boss Lady Hodges said, do something. Hey, Darius. We was just, you said you were going to stop eating. I say, you, they said you done ate up everything. I've been on my exercise bike, Darius. With my slim fast. I'm not playing with you. How you on a diet, Darius? Eating up everything. And then the other day, you talking about you was tired of eating. So then the question becomes, now that you know you can do it, you ate low fat. This is like saying I ate seafood yesterday, Darius. I ate everything I could see. So the question becomes, ooh, Flo, now that's a good one. Ask for payment for your services. How many of you know for a fact you're not asking for payments for your services? I have a barcode coat on my shirt because I'm on brand. Hey, Tawana. How many of you know for a fact that you are not asking for payments for all of the stuff that you're doing? Do you know that? I actually had some of my online family send me this shirt. Kimberly and Keith Solomon. So now, we all know there's something you can do to make money. Now let me ask you again. Who's coming to Indianapolis? You know, Lania, we all have room for improvement. And Zach, yes you do, it's a mindset shift. So with that being said, who's coming to Indianapolis? 
you got two months to figure out how to get to an event that has the power to change your life. You've got to stop not being in the room. We're having so many high-level conversations this weekend, not just with the people who are here, but with the other speakers that it's crazy. I'm going to ask again, you know how to make the money. Who's going to be in Indianapolis? Who's going to go get the time off? Who's going to buy their ticket? Who's going to do something that they've never done before in order to, to have something that they've never had? This is the race to freedom. And if you're not free by this time next year, then guess what? <coughs> it's because you weren't in the race. That's right, Veronica said me, no excuses. Um, Zach is bit.ly slash money to quit. Hey, Adrian, bit.ly slash money to quit. No wings of love, this is for everybody. This is a conference. It is for every, whether you're an employee or whether you're an entrepreneur. It is. You got to get in the race. You got to be somewhere having some conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be somewhere having conversations um, that are different. That are different than what you're accustomed to. Last but not least, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this. I need everybody under the sound of my voice to understand that somebody somewhere Mickey you want to be an ambassador in Atlanta did you sign up somebody somewhere will pay you for your gifts I'm going to repeat that somebody somewhere is holding your money Mickey, you can sign up to be a host at bit.ly slash be a money host. B E A M O N E Y host. I'm going to repeat that because I stopped to give out a link. God gave you something that's valuable. Oh, great, D. Did you sign up already? Because you know I'm coming to Vegas in August. Oh, you did? Okay. We had one call and we're going to have some more this uh, when I get back next week. Uh, Francis, just hang out and you'll get some more information. Dee, did you complete that link to be an ambassador in um, California and uh, Vegas? Because we're going to do, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do the West Coast when we leave Vegas. It just makes sense. So uh, this is my last question. If somebody somewhere will pay you for your gifts. Are you willing to do the work to get in front of them so that you can find them? Are you willing to do the work it takes to go find the people who will pay you? Because this is what everybody says, right? Get with me. Everybody says, oh, the people be talking about my stuff too high. People be talking about they don't need that. People talking about they're not going to buy that. Mm -mm. Them is the people you around. Are you willing to do the work to get around some people who will get you, who will buy your stuff at whatever cost? You better tell them, Helen, somebody somewhere is holding my money. And see, I wake up every morning and I go get it. Whoever's holding it is the bank that's holding it. Is it this new client that's holding it? It doesn't matter who's holding it. Every day I wake up with the intent, the express intent to get my product or service in front of people that need it and want it. Are you willing to do the same? And if you're not, don't be surprised when your situation doesn't change. Just being honest. Somebody somewhere is holding your money. You got to be willing to go get it. So listen, the link to Indianapolis 
is bit.ly slash 300 women indie. I'm about to start a physical countdown of how many women are going to be on deck. I need you there. I need you there. If you're serious about your race to freedom, and race to freedom is not just for employees. If you're an entrepreneur who is broke, then the race to freedom is for you too. I need to see you there. bit.ly slash 300 women indie. Hmm. Go ahead, Mickey. Guess what? If a closed mouth don't get fed. It doesn't. I need to see you guys there, and I need to see you ready to do some work to take your life to the next level, okay? They have not, because I'm traveling right now, just choose you, but I got you. They're coming. They're coming. Okay, good, Cherie. We got you. Love you guys. I'll check in with you later.